New York gallery owner Janelle Rearing was all ready for London's Freeze Art Fair when the world's banking system collapsed. I think everybody was sort of anxious to come to find out what, how it was going to affect the art market. Obviously it would affect it, but we didn't know how badly. This is the freeze, where for the past six years, serious buyers rubbed shoulders with London's young and edgy. Most people are here to see, not to buy, but gallery owners say some are spending. So you have sold things, expensive things. Yes. Uh, we've sold the work behind me, we've sold for uh, a Seward Gupta painting for 450,000 euros. London, Europe's financial centre, has been enjoying quite a party. Bankers, speculators and celebrities flush with cash drove up the price of every luxury imaginable, including art. Six million, six hundred thousand. Finally, with exquisite timing, celebrity artist Damien Hirst smashed the record for a one-man auction, raising a hundred and ninety-nine million dollars for his collection of pickled animals. Now, just one month later, it's a different world. Are you willing to put a figure on how much you think your sales will be down? Um, you know, at least fifty percent, I would say. Wow. We'll survive. Thanks to those who, in these uncertain times, still think something like this, or this, looks like a better investment than the stock market. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.